Welcome to the Value Add with me, Alex Pierce. We're going to spend some time looking at Project Sophia, a new AI platform from Microsoft, a great way of being able to upload data, mainly CSV files, Excel files, PDFs, and have AI look at this data and analyze it for you and give you some graphical and graphs around the data that it sees, but also summarizing it for you, being able to work on it as a canvas and building it out. This may well actually be where Copilot goes from an Excel point of view, and maybe we'll see these features coming to Copilot from Microsoft 365. So let's get stuck in. As you can see here, Microsoft have actually brought Project Sophia into preview. Uh, you can do a quick Google or Bing search to be able to find this information. Uh, you can go and register yourselves now uh, to be able to provide feedback on the project and also go off and actually try it yourselves, uh, should you want to be able to do so. So um, what we're going to do, we're going to go off and try this now ourselves. I've got some example data, which I think is important for you to see and understand. So actually, as I'm doing a demo, you understand the data that actually we're going to be talking about. This is my Excel data, as you can see here, um, just kind of like customer area, you know, government, small business, mid-market, enterprise, what country were the sale done, uh, the products that were sold, got the sales representative, which is kind of cascaded down, uh, cost of manufacturing through to things like the cost of sale, the items, the gross that's on there, discounts, uh, revenue, a cost of sale, and we've also got some profit, obviously, in there, as well as the date uh, of when these things were actually sold. The 700 rows altogether, this data is actually taken from Microsoft's website. You can get all sorts of different data examples from them. I've just modified it slightly just to be able to support some certain demos that I want to be able to give with Project Sophia and also with Copilot within some of these elements. So you can see I've now actually opened up Project Sophia and I've got some example canvases that I've already actually been working on, playing with this. You see some, I've got some examples of the graphs based on some of this sample data that is there. I've got some onboarding information. And what I've actually got here is a new workspace. And this is where it actually gives me the ability to go and ask some questions or give it some information that I want to, but I want to add some data. So the first thing we're going to do is just add this Excel spreadsheet uh, that you've seen me uh, just demonstrate. As you can see, I've now updated and uploaded this content financial sample as it is, and I'm going to ask it to go off and generate. Like all my demos, I'm going to let this run in real time. So it's obviously going to upload this data. You can see it's doing this little canvas. Let's zoom out just a little bit so you can see it. Kind of building out, it's understanding that data. It's kind of building out what it thinks should be the best thing for me to be able to go off and analyze and giving me some insight. Let's see what it kind of creates for us. And there we go, right? So it's actually building out, got a nice little table kind of format here so it's generated this top graph at the top here to revenue generated by each product in diff in each different customer area so that's kind of that small business government enterprise kind of side so i can very see very quickly that actually we've got amira as actually is our biggest products that we sell as you see that and we can actually break that down to those different areas so we've actually can very quickly and visualize see based on this information over two years worth of uh, data that actually what's our best product, what's making the most amount of kind of revenue for us at this moment in time. We've got profit trend over date for each sales rep. So actually I can see it from the representative that I've got from that sales kind of side of things. Interestingly, I'm not seeing the sales rep name in here at this moment in time. Uh, but that might be something that hopefully comes at some point. So let's see if we can add some of these legends in. So chart that says show legends. There we go. So it's a little bit of an edit to actually show me who is who. So actually, if I want to see David here, I can do so. If I want to see Sarah, I can do. So very quickly and easy for me to be able to see and make changes. But also, as you can kind of see here, we've got this overview. So top revenue generating customer areas is a government sector consistent ranks as number one on the top three revenue generating customer areas across all countries that might help us with marketing information or where we want to invest in bits of information. Countrywide revenue, 
So you can kind of see how it starts breaking it down for us. In France, the government sector also leads with $15 million, followed by small business. So again, this helps us to understand what we might want to do from a business point of view. And you kind of obviously see that actually there are some profitability concerns here. The sample data rose shows a significant loss despite a substantial revenue of, there you go, $40,000. This could indicate. So it would be really good for me to, to click on that and see where that would be. Can't see that at this moment in time. Maybe that's some feedback um, I'll give to Microsoft. What we've also got here, though, is this next steps. And I like this kind of what this is. So it's actually gone off and analyzed the data further and said, look, I can give you more information should I want to be able to do so. So I can have it generate an email and analyze profit trends over time. So let's do that one. So I'll click this and it's going to create another canvas for us. You can kind of see that. There we go. It's done that for us. Let's just zoom out just a little bit. We're setting up the stage for the insights. So again, it's looking at this information, understanding it for us and building this out. And just to show you why this is building, it's starting to build this canvas out of the different dashboards and how we may want to have different graphs. So let's go back in. There you go, it's now created a profit over trend for each year. Okay, there's only two years worth of actual data here uh, that we've actually got. Um, we can actually see the comparison of cost of sale and profit for each product. So we want to be able to do so. And again, a bit more of a breakdown around what these may well be. That's there. Now, maybe I'm not happy with this. I can say go off and regenerate it for me. So regenerate it on new data or actually based on the current data. So let's do based on this regeneration. So again, I like to keep these things running so you can see the, uh, the kind of the speed of them as it is recorded. We're doing this in early January. So planning this out, setting out this information. This is a preview product. I'm loving the actual visualizations of this, by the way, for a preview project. This is absolutely brilliant. And there we go. That's really, this might be something a little bit more interesting. I've actually now got information based on profit generated by each sales rep in different country areas. So I can see that's who is the person that uh, does the most. There we go. So Jessica here seems to do really well. The channel partners, um, as well as small business, but she actually, she's not doing very much from a enterprise point of view. So who is doing the best from an enterprise point of view? Pretty well shared, maybe Sarah Carter, maybe John Nelson. Maybe that's a way I can actually get people to focus more on areas because I now I can very easily and visually see that there are two or three people that are really doing well in this small business space. Or there's actually one person that's doing really well with channel partners. So I can get Jessica actually focus more in different areas. So that's exactly what this information is telling us in this overview down this left hand side. Potential business strategy given the high profits in July, November and December the company might want to consider focusing its marketing and sales efforts during these months to further maximize profit. This is the kind of insight that we want AI to be able to be giving us and helping us with. Let's do one more. So compare profits and margin by country. Let's go off and do this. So this should build out another canvas and link it through to our data. Let's see what happens. There you go, it's bringing it down. So what we've actually got here now is almost a bit of a storyboard. We started off at the very top, looking at kind of that general revenue information. We then went on to sales representatives, and now we're actually comparing the profit margins by country. And there you go. We can see that in this kind of chart that actually uh, the United States is actually about kind of 25%, uh, kind of just a little bit less than that as part of it. But interesting, there's some statistics here we see on this left-hand side. Mexico has the higher, pro highest profit margin of 21% with a total profit of 6 million and the total revenue of 30. This is really insightful stuff. I love how it's actually gone off and visualized this. And if you played with Copilot for Excel, we can't do this so easily. We've got to still spend a bit more time and Yes, at this, as in kind of recording this video, Copilot for Excel is still in preview, but I'm certainly expect that this is the kind of insights 
that more people will want inside of Excel kind of moving forwards. As you can kind of see here on the front page, got a bit more of this information of kind of previous kind of canvases that I've kind of created and go off and I can do different guides. Uh, this is just general documentation around how to onboard documents, the kind of things that are coming soon. It was actually last updated in November, so it just shows that this is still early for us to go off and play with. I can't wait for this to be generally available and be able to use this from a work point of view um, and actually analyzing all sorts of bits of data, information and data. So I hope you found this video useful. Seeing Project Sophia in action is brilliant. I absolutely love it. This output that we get and the insight in our business just from 700 rows of a spreadsheet is absolutely huge. Could you imagine how much information you could gather from this if you could put multiple spreadsheets in, which you can do, how it can build that relationship. But think about all those other data sources, empowering our users to be able to understand data that they are using on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you found this video useful and you enjoy the value add, please do like and subscribe this, to this video and to this channel. But until then, I'll see you next time on the value add.